Hey what's up guys it's Ayn here back with another video so this time around I'm gonna tell you about all the features of MIUI 8.2 I know it's a bit late to make this video guys but it's worth mentioning the features and I'm gonna cover all the features starting from the minimal change to the major changes guys so do watch this video till the end so without any further delay guys let's get started with the video. Before even starting, let me just show you that my phone is actually running MIUI 8.2. So as you can see guys, it's running 8.2 and the security patch level is February 2017 which is kinda okay. Not April, not March but yeah, it's okay then also it's fine. And uh, sadly, the Android version is still 6.0 and the size of the update was approximately 450 MB and I'm using Redmi Note 3 Snapdragon Edition. Anyways guys, the immediate change that you will notice is the change in the haptic feedback from the fingerprint sensor. Now if you use the correct finger to unlock your phone, your phone will not provide a haptic feedback. Instead, it will unlock your phone directly and only if you use the wrong finger while unlocking the device, the phone will provide you with a haptic feedback. The pin and pattern uh, layout has also been customized a bit but that's not much of a change guys it's just a minimal change you hardly will recognize the change but yeah it has been changed a bit. There also has been a minute change in the app transition it's more fluid and smooth than what we used to see in the previous generations. The notification sorting menu has also been redesigned and honestly guys it's far more easy to sort and select the toggles now and even a battery saving toggle has been introduced which comes quite handy if you're running low out of battery so a big thumbs up to Xiaomi for that. Another minute change is a change in the USB charging icon and also the keyboard icon. Now I know guys that it's quite detailed and I have been covering a quite minute details but I don't want to miss out any informations which I can provide to you and I want to provide you all the relevant informations in the best possible way so I hope you guys watch this video till the end. And finally there are some new ringtones in the MIUI but honestly guys I'm not sure which of them are the new ones and which of them are the old ones but any which ways I'm gonna play a few of them and I'm gonna change my ringtone. One of the most handy changes in the MIUI 8.2 is a separate home screen tab. Previously you had to go to install app then default apps then you had to go to home screen and there you would have selected your customized or your own personal launchers of your choice but it's not it like this anymore as there's a separate home screen section that has been provided with the new update and there you can directly change the launchers which you want to use and that's not the end here you can even lock the screen layout which means that your customized way of keeping the apps in your own personalized order aren't gonna mess up anymore and nobody can uninstall your apps just by dragging them on the topper section of your uh, screen and just uninstalling them so your personalized way of keeping your apps gonna stay the way they are there were some users including me facing Wi-Fi freeze issue but with the latest MIUI 8.2 update it has been resolved and I have been testing this for a while now and I face no such issues anymore and that's a very good news for the ones who are facing or who were facing this issue previously. And finally the most basic thing has been added to MIUI which we were waiting craving for a long time that is sliding the notifications from the lock screen and also from the notification toggle. I don't know why it was not there for such a long time guys. Anyways it has been provided with the new update so big thumbs up to Xiaomi for that. Thank you Xiaomi. The non-Google apps that we install from third-party sources, the security towards those have been improved or increased, whatever you might say. That is that it scans your applications which you install from third-party sources like .apk files which you install 
by taking those from your friends by extender share it whatever it might be overall the security of the phone has been redefined to provide you with better safety well guys when i was checking the notification toggle issue while calling strangely enough that has been fixed but i was facing some proximatory issue with this new update and as you can see guys i have been continuously trying to put my palm over my proximatory sensor and nothing happened so if you are facing similar problems do comment and let me know whether you are facing such problems or not or it's just me so guys some of the bonus improvements with MIUI 8.2 update is that no floating notifications while your phone is on do not disturb mode and the third party theme support has also been improved sometimes it would have not worked properly or the landscape mode would have not worked properly but now it feels like the phone is working absolutely fine it's smooth and responsive and i have been using third party theme for a while now and it's far more better than the 8.1.6.0 update so is it worth updating guys definitely it is worth updating so that's all for today guys if this video was helpful hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this do check us on instagram twitter facebook and i'll provide the links in the description down below for those thanks for watching this video guys once again it's iron from the tech info house signing off hope to see you in my next video